offshore, the American and British invading force, the hardware of war. Onshore, who knew what? and stand up, you will be well treated. We will wait 20 seconds for your answer. vehicles the Germans use are extremely mobile. They pounce, destroy, and disappear. But they're starting to concentrate on one point, this one. If they manage to occupy it, our supply lines will be cut, and it will be impossible to retreat. It's as simple as that. We're prepared to resist as long as necessary. Our defensive position is impregnable. Theoretically it is, but the Germans won't advance along the whole front. They'll attack certain points, taking them by surprise. Unless we hold those positions, they'll break through. Is that possible, sir? Our only hope is that the Germans will press the attack where we want. How can we be sure? It's simple. We'll use landmines. The idea is Captain Bradbury's. Stand at ease, Bradbury. We have 100,000 mines left. In 48 hours, we can transform this zone into a minefield. And the Germans have to advance. They won't try to open a path through the middle of the field. Clearly, their only possibility is to locate the unmined places. The Germans will find them but they'll find us waiting. I believe that the best place is at the base of the hills of Ruisa. Captain, in your opinion, in the available time, is it possible to mine such a large area of desert? I suggest 20 mine laying details with 50 men each. They can lay 100 mines per man. So they'll be supplied with 5,000 mines. With any luck at all, in 48 hours, it can be done. Every man available is going to be assigned to work on this project. I hope we're lucky. I think this plan might succeed. Its main advantage is that the mines will delay the German tanks. Captain Bradbury, I'm putting you in command of the group operating along the middle of our front.
That finishes the strip, six degrees north of the baseline, sir. Sleep tight, baby. All right, mate. You can tuck her in now. think of my family. I can't afford to get myself blown up by one of them. <gasps> oh, Look easy now. We've all got the wind up. Think of your girlfriend and you'll get over it. <laughs> your kids? Right. I think about them at home and I forget to be scared. <laughs> Nothing, sir. I can't reach anyone. Is that not working? Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with the radio, sir. It's just not picking up anything. If the base isn't transmitting, that means they're in trouble. Tell everyone to pack it in. We're going back to base. But the men have only finished three quarters of the load, sir. It doesn't matter. I'd like to get to the base quickly. They may be having some trouble. Come on, get a move on. Have a drink, kid. Go on, it isn't water. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Irish drink. Chewing tobacco to clear your throat, and Irish whiskey to warm your blood. <laughs> hey, where are you from? Back in Canada, we raised kids on stuff like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold! No wonder our friends didn't answer on the radio, Bob. They must have had some unexpected visitors. You men get that gun ready for action. Follow it! Do anything? It would be a useless waste of men. For them. We're pretty lucky we decided to take ourselves on a little hike last night, Amy Darns. Better explain our position. Either we must surrender or try to join up with our main armored column in Sector 751 at Mount Ruizat. 
That's 300 miles away, sir. Our petrol won't get us that far. We can ditch one of the trucks if we have to, sir. Even if they get us, the important thing is our secret. So everybody has to stick to the same story. That we were ordered to place as many mines as possible. And completely at random. If they go on questioning, you can also reveal that we hadn't quite finished. And we had to leave this sector and this one, the two corridors that would lead directly towards Ruizad. That clear? Get moving! You deserve a medal, Bob. <coughs> Nobody can drive like you can. <laughs> if it hadn't been for this bloody war, I would have been a racing driver by now. Captain, <laughs> Charlie's been hit. So is the radio. If Charlie hadn't landed on me like a sack of potatoes, I'd have gotten the other crowd, too. <laughs> Careful. Tie it good and tight, Spencer. The bone looks crushed. I'm afraid the muscle has been damaged pretty badly. We can stop the bleeding, but our medical kit was on the truck. As for Ruizat, we have no hope in hell. It's not your fault. We probably wouldn't have made it in any case. We go back, there's no choice. It's better this way. The Germans will look up. I'll be all right, Captain. If he doesn't get infected, I can help him. We almost finished all our petrol, Sonny. We sure burned up a lot of gas on that chase, sir, Captain. Shut up, Wiley. Yes, sir. You're going to need medicine and water, and you'll have to stay in bed for a while. Turn round. Let's go. Help me shift him. Hey, Red, how about that, eh? You were on the run and you joined the army to stay out of jail. Now you're going to be a prisoner of war of the Germans, right? The German POW camp ain't any worse than a bloody English prison, mate.
Be careful you don't hit the jeep or we'll be out of luck. We had better get a flag ready to wave, something white. Hey, Red, take off your underpants. Yeah. Don't shoot back yet. They only want us to stop. They're aiming short. They want to surrender to us. Be careful, Herr Hoffman. Those English are treacherous bastards. I will cover you with a gun. Careful, Captain. Those German bastards are treacherous. Captain Foot Heinz. Captain George Bradbury. One man is buried. The other is behind that machine gun. Glad to see you speak my language. I have one man injured, and I have three others behind guns, too. We're making our way back to the German lines to surrender. To me, Captain? To the force that destroyed our headquarters this morning. I think you'll be disappointed. The order was to attack and disappear. So we are both isolated. Where's the nearest English base? There's nobody within 300 miles. <laughs> My tank still has water and food. Why are you telling me that? You have a jeep. <laughs> Collaboration, is that your proposition? I don't mind what name you give it. Before I accept, I shall have to talk to my men. I could drop both them lovely crowds with a little bit of luck. Don't be a bloody fool. They have a proposition. Whatever you do, don't shoot. We have to be sure to jeep. When are we going to kill them, Captain? When I say so. Bring the provisions with you. Look at that. They're coming over like two little angels, they are. Yeah. And if we give them half a chance, they'll kill us to get the jeep. We're five against two. Let them try. They won't shoot. They might hit these cans. They're Jerry's, but they're no fools. Yeah. Now it's their turn to point their little toy gun at us. Remember that we will respond instantly to any hostile act. Yes, I dare say. But if we're going to travel together, don't you think we should work out some way to get along? This is how we'll get along, with our weapons drawn. Very well, weapons drawn. Shall we go? Steigen. I don't want anyone beside him. Would you mind, Spencer? Are we all comfy? The nice thing about German officers is you know you can trust them.
fast do you think your tanks are? Where are yours? Ours are retreating towards the east. All your tanks? As far as I know, all of them. Not much hope of catching up with them, then. They move too quickly. Our best chance in that case is to keep heading south. Any place in mind? We'll probably find a unit sooner or later. As long as it's not too much later. I don't want to drink. I just want to wet this hanky. For him. Will someone please explain that to the Jerry? Hey, will you tell us, Klopp, we need some water? Hauptmann, nehmen Sie die Waffe aus der Hand, ich besorge das Übrige. Nein, noch nicht. Sie wissen etwas Wichtiges. Lass ihn trinken. Dance auf, Herr Nur, du Schweinehund. What gets my goat is that these two chatter away right in front of us and we don't understand a single word of what they're saying. You should have studied German in school instead of poker. Yeah, but the crowd here is right. The water's all we got. We shouldn't waste it on Charlie's face. Wiley, you're worse than the crowds. Where are you, Bob? No, Charlie. Please. I can't do it. I love you, Charlie, but... You give me the same line a hundred times a day. How about it? Show me that you really mean it. Come on, Barbara. You act like you know everything. And you're really just a little girl. Well, let's have a go. does it now, Charlie. We'd better stretch our legs. Bob, give everybody a drink. Two ounces each. No, my leg's swelling. The infection's getting worse. Captain, you'll help me, won't you? Let's have a look. There's only a mild infection. No, no, sir, you're wrong. Once I worked in a hospital, and I know about these things. If the infection reaches the thigh, I've had it, sir. Captain, it's your responsibility. You'll have to do it. Have to do what? Amputate. My leg, you'll have to amputate. Listen, Charlie, you may have a bit of a fever and a mild infection, but there's no... No! Captain, do you think if I wasn't absolutely sure I'd let you amputate my leg? I can't die here. But if we haven't any medical kit, how do you expect us to perform an operation like that? Cauterize it. Build a fire, sir. A red-hot bayonet will stop hemorrhaging. Besides, even if it isn't perfect, I'll gain several days. When the petrol runs out, I can wait in the jeep. 
If you manage to reach Ruizat, maybe Ruizat? I... Ruizat? Ruizat. So that's where we're going. That is better than I thought. With a bit of luck, we should get there. I'm afraid I've slipped out, Miller. Charlie, I don't know a lot about wounds. But I don't think it's as bad as you make out. All right, men, let's go. They won't give me a chance. Preparing an ambush. Your tanks at Ruaisat. Sorry, Captain. That information is classified. Nightfield. Yeah. Nightsville, girl. Mm. Leaving? Vibes spilled, huh? Uh -huh. We like him too. It's been bloody years since we've had a good, decent vibe spill, right, Bob? Women like to go with soldiers. The uniform is what attracts them. They prefer a man. <coughs> the crowd's crazy. They're all crazy, those Nazis. Like Hitler. <laughs> yeah. a lovely figure, mm -hmm. but nothing else. Anyway, should she ever start to bore you, you can rub her out. No. I'll never do that, Jane. Must we still go on waiting? We have to be careful. There's something going on at Ruwai Sat. Hey! Just cut the cackle, you two. Never mind. I'll wake you in two hours. I think I'd better take the first watch. You do the second. Then Bob, then Wiley. Now get some sleep. them around. I'm not even tired. Hey. Hey.
cigarette. Uniforms don't show in the dark. It's almost impossible to be enemies. Oh, it's quite simple. Oh, it's a personal thing. Very personal. your fellow officers feel if they knew you had an English girlfriend? Oh, she's not just a girlfriend. I love her and I want to marry her. Perhaps I have to go back to London. But if we get married, you become a German citizen. I can't. If I don't go back... Well, what if you don't go back? Would they come and get you? I'm afraid they would. Jane, who are you? A spy. Then you were only using me. I would never have told you unless... Oh, Kurt, I tried not to love you. I tried. Mustn't leave. It's almost dawn. They're waiting. Where? The others are only doing their duty. And you made me lose my head. But tell me where they are waiting. Don't make me betray the others, Kurt. It's impossible for us. Now that war is so near. What will they do to you if you marry an English girl? Even if I do try to take out German citizenship. Wait for me here. I'll take care of everything. What is it? Corporal, look at that. That's a boundary marker. And it's not one of ours. God damn it, we're in the middle of a German minefield. So that pile of rocks is one of theirs. Maybe we could ask Captain Potato Head to show us the way, huh? We'll open up a way through. After all, we're supposed to be expert at it. Captain, I think I can find a safe path. To the south? No, to the north. Out you get. We've got a pretty good chance of getting to the field if God's with us. Are you sure God is English, Captain? Now, don't be frightened. I'll do it alone. And what about the jeep? It's suicide. Yeah, why don't you let him show us the way? It's a trick to lead us right into their lines. I thought we wanted to give ourselves up. 
No, not anymore. Unload every bit of gear that might be useful. Get going. Captain Heinz, tell your man to get down. You are afraid that we will find out what's happening at Ruaisat, am I right? No, I'm not, Captain. Uh. If the jeep blows, we've had it. Wiley, for the last time, I've given you an order. Get down! Yes, sir. You know, crowd, I can't help wondering if your officers are brainless wonders like the English brass. What do we do with Charlie? Leave me here, Bob. He only said to unload the things that are useful. We're gonna make it, Charlie. It was you Jerry's put those bloody mines there, so why don't you do a little hey, goose cut it out, knock game. it off, huh? Uh, listen, Kraut, the idea is to get rid of the brass, not us guys. Officers. Master Captain, I know you don't want to go, but it won't make any difference to me. his own job to do, Captain. There's one on this side, under the front wheel. It, Captain. You're not a hundred yards away with your fancy maps anymore. You're right on the bloody thing. <laughs> Cigarette? Hold it. Don't move. I've got to dig it out. This lovely little darling blows. The second the pressure is taken off the percussion cap. You know, Captain, taking care of these little darlings is my specialty. Your specialty, Captain, is being a captain. Captain. Now, Captain. Hold it! Get back. I'm in command now. Now, Captain, without moving, just calmly give me your belt, hmm? <laughs> well, that lovely little jeep has got to back up now. Do you think you can do it, or should I have somebody come up here and push it by hand? Good. Now, you know, if she blows, we bloody well had it, Captain. 
deep is very close to my heart. But as far as you're concerned, Captain, I really couldn't care less. <laughs> if you uh, know what I mean. Huh? Okay, Captain. Start the motor. Now. Go into reverse. Move back bit by bit. Slowly, inch by inch. Very slowly. Just a wee bit more. Stop. Now, Captain, when I say go full speed in reverse, go now! Are you hurt? No. Bravo, Wiley. I did it for the Jeep, Captain. Just for the Jeep. I can't stay. I can't stay any longer. Uh, Barbara, I have to go. I, uh, Barbara, uh, they're waiting for me. He's delirious. Uh, I have to go now. Uh, 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 Barbara. Uh, uh, uh. I have to go. I'm shipping out in an hour. Darling, are you sure you're... Yes. Oh, darling, darling. I love you so much. I'll try to get away on leave so I can see you. I mean, both of you. My darling wife and my little baby. I know you'll come back, dearest. You'll have to. Because you know we'll be waiting. And I'll be praying. Uh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. Can 
Green. He should be in the hospital. We may as well shoot him in the head and forget about him. You're a bastard. He's half rotten already. What's the advantage in dying slowly? We've got enough petrol for 20 or 30 miles. It's about 90 miles to Ruesat. If the British are preparing to hold it, we will be running into your patrols any moment now. Charlie's really in trouble. We mustn't stop as long as there's petrol. Water. Uh, water. Kind boss. Water. Quit playing around like a bunch of children. All right, Captain. No stops. But you know damn well he's right. Water's wasted on a dead man. Water. <laughs> if the petrol runs out and we haven't found anybody, well, he's a goner anyway. If we don't find someone, we'll all die. It's up to you. No water, then. We mustn't delay them commando mid Thailand. And when we are under Anglo Gustos? Oh, yeah. The British don't deserve pity. Believe me, Lieutenant Hines, this is highly embarrassing. John, I don't know your business, and I'm only here for one thing. About Jane. We want to marry. She's decided she wants to remain with me and forget the best. You must give me your word as an officer so that nobody will hear this conversation. Promise me you won't bother her or make any trouble. And I'll give you my word of honor. to be an ugly war, with no time for anything but hate. We've already been given orders to pull out. They've made all preparations. And Jane? She's already forgotten. As far as we're concerned, she no longer exists. That's the last of the bedroom. Let's get some sleep. Tomorrow we'll decide what to do. Captain, uh, I think we'd better keep an eye on the water. I think that's all anybody's doing. It's a matter of life or death by now. German, English, that doesn't really count anymore. Water. Uh. I don't feel much pain. Not much of anything. Whereabouts are we? Near Ruwise, We're going to make it. You'll see, Charlie. We've finished the last drop of petrol. the others.
I'm sorry, mate, but I always swore I'd work alone. Don't fall for that line of his, Red. Don't fall for it. Water. Water. It's all over for you, Charlie. Tomorrow we're gonna have to leave. Most of us will probably die. The water supply is almost gone, but the little bit that's left is for them that can still walk. Now, don't do anything stupid, Charlie, huh? You know nobody can help you now, lad. Besides, half of you is rotten already. Charlie has no more problems. And somebody helped him to solve them. Right, Wiley? He wanted water, so I told him the truth. He understood the situation and went out and shot himself. You would have told him the same thing if you'd had the guts. You stinking rat, I'll kill you! Let him go, let him go. If I shoot him, there'll be more water for us, huh? There's only one hope of saving ourselves. We haven't got much water left. If we all start walking, it will last about one day. And we can't make ruins like that quick. What's the proposition? Just this. We check our position here very carefully. Then two of us with a quart of water each try to reach Huashat, and the rest stay under the jeep. If they don't
don't move, I expect they'll last about three days. What a wonderful idea, Captain Crowdhead. But who goes and who stays, huh? We'll leave that up to chance. One of you and one German. To be sure, whoever they find will look for the rest. Do you agree? We do. Well, that's pretty fair, huh? The old match game, right? <laughs> now, uh, whoever gets the, uh, the short end goes, huh? Right? Which one of you darling boys wants to go first, hmm? How about you, Spencer? <laughs> you stay. Come on, Bob. A little while ago, you wanted to kill me. Now I'm giving you a chance to play a nice game. Go. <laughs> Looks like it grew a new end. Well, Captain? You want to play? Always lucky, aren't you? Let's go. Which one of you goes? We do not have to draw lots. Everyone knows his duty in the Fatherland. Got your position carefully marked here. We'll send a patrol. When? We'll be as quick as possible. You are one against three. You can't win. I'll be all right, Captain. What about there, Captain? I'll put a bullet in his head and try to reach one of our units. If everything goes according to plan, then I may reach one of our units, too. with half our supply of water. Have you gone completely crazy? They're our only hope. Those two have been plotting against us from the first day, see? Those two captains. They think they're worth more than a whole raft of bloody soldiers, see? So what do you think they're doing? They're trying to go away for how long? For two days? For three? For four? Five, huh? They don't even know where the hell they're going. But they got our supply of water, you can bet. And they're plotting to get away and leave us with this goddamn bloody kraut. <laughs> Well, they've gone, God damn them, to hell. But why did you agree to let them go, Canada? Yeah, because I know I had this little toy, see? And if I'd used it, that water would still be ours. Ours? Or yours? We're gonna leave our bones right here. All of us will leave our bones right here. They're gone now. We just have to stay put in the shade. That's all we can do. Even if Wiley is right. Let's get rid of the crowd. After all, he's the enemy. Oh, yeah, sure. And what happens if the other one comes back? We tell him that he committed suicide, just like Charlie, huh? Let's get in the shade. Hey, are we still headed for Rue Weissat? Yes. What do we find? Why the mystery? You can tell me now. You better save your breath, Captain. You'll be needing it.
Take it easy. Not the water a day. Have been looking out for five more days. The car load on gone. Think of all the water. You wasted on Charlie that didn't do him any good. You bastard. There's no point in wasting energy. Look how cool a blasted crowd is. He's the only one who knows what to do. Yeah, but what's he thinking? Better watch him carefully. He probably wants to kill us. You'll handle us. I don't know why, but you seem to be fresher than we are. It wouldn't be that you've got a few bottles of that Irish whiskey stashed away, would it now? Wish I had. Care to top up the meal with a cigarette? No. I want nothing from the English. Both my parents were killed in the bombing. One of you Jerry's did it. But I prefer to believe that he was only a man who was given the order to drop a bomb and did so. That's no reason to hate someone for obeying an order. In war, that's it. It's difficult for a man in uniform to think for himself. You British certainly have minds of your own. And well, I know you're a nation of killers. Jane! priest who blesses your weapons, and all those girls who fall for officers, and the people who like to listen to the sound of a drum, all of them. Stupid, isn't it? Trying to convince you. Waste of time. Well, steady eyes. Water out of the radiator. Schmutziges Englisch Schwein! I squeeze you dry like a sponge! Get away from that radiator! Ha <laughs> ha 
while it's taking the water. The water. He's taking the water. The master. Wiley. 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 Good. Good. I might have expected it. He's run off. The water. Now, just a minute. Can't be trusted, those Jerry's. Be easy of these things. You'd like to reach your camarade and, and spread the news of the Roisad. And you bastard, you took my compass. But don't you worry, I'll find you sooner or later. You wait, I'll find you. If I have to spend eternity wandering through this inferno, and when I do, when I do. <laughs> hey, you bastard! I finally caught up with you! Don't try anything funny, or I swear I'll shoot you. Compass. <coughs> oh. I ought to 
shot you this morning. Come on and fight! <coughs> Court. Hey! Court! Court! Hey! Caporal Stur. Captain Kotein. What are you doing here, sir? Throw down your gun. The revolver, Captain. What do you stop here for? Silence the cover. Is your radio working? Yes, sir. You must warn our commander to avoid Rue Wessert. They've laid an ambush. An ambush? Put the call through, Caporal. Jawohl. Run! This way, Captain. Column before it reaches Ruwa Sat. Hurry! Even without the radio, we'll still make it.
English or German? If you move, I'll kill you. Get your hands up. Up. Well, Captain, you must see that your gesture is hopeless. You are going to die for nothing. We'll have to hurry.
Just receive this, Colonel. Road 21 says to expect heavy crossfire. Road 21. Road 21. Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3. Shift line of advance to the right. Bring your fire to bear on the flank of the enemy. show, lads. It's almost over now. Let's go on and wipe them out. Forward! in this area. You're pretty bloody fortunate, Captain, I must say. We almost ran you down. Lucky he was only a German. Yes. I guess that's all he was. 